Hello everybody and we are playing Satisfactory. I've touched on this game before in the past and I loved it but I really wanted to hold off till 1.0 so that we can give it a try and we're gonna be playing this as a let's play. So I'm thinking that here above on this ridge there should be some I think iron notes right? Two, yeah I think I want to be going on this hill and this will be the area where we're kind of integrating stuff and moving stuff away. So <clears throat> let us go up there. And this is where we'll be setting up our first throwaway factory. Why throwaway? Well, glad you asked because here there are there is limestone node. There are two nodes. And I think further there is the... Okay, hold on, let me just dispatch, talk with the pig dealer. Okay, I mean, I mean, seriously, hello, where are you? Talk to me, pig dealer. Oh, there you are, right up the my kisser. All right, so, is there Samples a... of new alien species acquired. Notable features are blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it is proficient at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. Preserve the remains for later study. Thanks for pointing the obvious, Sherlock. All right. So what we're going to do here, <clears throat> my idea is we have two iron iron ore nodes. And we're going to be setting up shop here. And uh, here there is limestone, obviously. So the idea is, step one, we want to be having producing of iron, I think sheets, rods, and we want to be doing the concrete and the copper. So that's the idea. So while I'm doing this, we're gonna be placing the miners. And I think we have a four portable miners total, which means we should be able to build initial small base. Right, okay. So yeah, four portable miners, good. Now, First of all, we want to be setting up the iron flow, which will be going, everything will be going downwards to these big grassy plains where we can build a substantial factory. And I think in this thick forest, we could in theory build our sort of, you know, hub because it has a nice view. I don't know. That's my thought. Let's see where we, where we end up now. Let's go production miner mark one. And you might be wondering, well, ground forks, why are you just talking so much and not doing? Because planning in this game, my friends, uh, is everything. So when it comes to the miner, one miner will be there. So we're gonna be placing miners to go directly through the smelters and the producers down that way. Okay, miner one. Miner two, you gotta be doing them nicely. And then we have miner three, which would be, yeah, what? You had a bad lunch? Uh, I'm really sorry to hear that, buddy. Okay, you are be going, okay, just place it nicely. Right, so that's three, and that's fine. The next thing, what we are gonna be placing are the smelters, because smelters need to smelt ore and then we have to have constructors building the stuff that we need. And I'm removing a lot of the cladding because I really want to have a nice... Hello, big butt. Now, I think it would be best if we put the smelters, you know, one beside the another. So we're gonna be doing... The... Yeah, let's use actually the space, why not? The, more, the less components we use, the better. So we're gonna do like this. One smelter comes here. One smelter will come directly after you. So somewhere around here-ish. Good. And those are the smelters that will be doing iron. So there you go. And two, right. And then we're gonna have constructors. Here I was thinking to have a sort of a, like a row of constructors because it will be easiest to power. So constructors we need, let's see, we need one for the sheets. Then we need one for the rods. 
and one we're gonna be needing for the concrete all right <clears throat> so that's three i know things don't make a lot of sense they will and i'm trying to use minimum amount of conveyors cables and whatnot because well materials cost is a thing right now so there we go and you sunshine will be going from here to here do i want to put in the buffers it's a good thought but at the moment i don't think so okay good so now we need electricity and the best electricity we can get is actually by building a hub yeah um, i didn't think of that why didn't i think of that so i might be even plumping down a hub at some point fair enough uh but i would really like my containers to be close to my hub so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna have to have something going here now this is gonna be costly right storage container here and then hub will be close by it has to be fair enough so we do one two and three obviously so these three storage containers don't need anything and then we want to be placing our hub not too far hub we're gonna be placing then somewhere along here might have a nice ring to it you know gives me a place to expand stuff and we're not too far out and the power is actually nearby i think that will be a good setup yes now Speaking of electricity, what we want to do is we want to connect the power. So we're going to be placing power pole and power lines. They're going to be... And here we're going to have even our power plant, which is kind of important. Going from here, let us extend as far as the cables will flow. Let's say here goes one. And then second one will be going from here to this guy which is the main distribution hub from this guy it will be directly connecting here for the time being here we will build another power pole because this power pole should so this guy will be connecting one of these and because currently limitation is four so this guy has to go further down we're gonna be placing it close to the miner oh, okay let's connect the miner miner right smelter right and it's connected here to this guy this guy has two and there are two in addition so i think we would be right about at the capacity and i think this is our factory to start with so now we need to configure it obviously you're mining iron and you are doing ingots which you sunshine will be turning into iron plates you shall be making iron rods uh, which means you obviously have to be making iron ingots you are mining iron anyway are you connected the big guy is he connected no none of them are connected see this is what i mean by electricity right okay uh that means you shall not be connecting this guy but you are the transit one so you're going over there and you are connecting one to, uh, it's a little bit spaghetti as i said it's a throwaway factory anyway so right hmm <clears throat> so did we connect here we did iron ingot now this one will be mining concrete and this one or mining limestone and you, you will be building concrete so that's actually our first factory more or less the only thing remaining is to connect the three outputs down. oh i'm missing iron plates okay well the, the beauty of it is that we don't need to care 
So now what we do is we're gonna go into the workbench and we are gonna take all the leaves that we have co co lovingly collected so we can collect some more. And we're gonna be converting those into biofuel, see? This is the reason why it's always good to be on the grassy plateau with lots of leaves. Perfect. Potential edible collected. If consumed before authorized as compatible with the human digestive system by Fixit, the consumer is responsible for any and all consequences. Store this potential resource for later use. All right. So long story short, you eat it, you're responsible for your own destiny. Well, that's the way I like it. That's fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be kicking this factory, obviously. Uh, there is a tiny amount of leaves that needs to be collected, which drives my OCD to oblivion because there won't be 200, 2 times 200 pieces of biomass. And that's not just something that I can tolerate. Right. So time to kick this pig. All right. We put it in. It's one. And the second one, currently capacity is 20, consumption is 35, so we have to have two of them working. So capacity is 40, maximum consumption is 35, meaning we are well above it. So now our factories will start churning out stuff, which is kind of great. And while they're doing that, we might as well set some goals for us, because after all, why, what are we building and why? We're going to be going with unlocking tier one and I'm going to thinking that we are going to go with the base building because we all have all, all the necessary components. For the logistics we need to find copper and that will be my step two. So select milestone and now we come to the fun part. The fun part is that I can manually of course craft everything here and yes damn well should so we're going to be... <laughs> crafting a lot of things manually. No, I'm just kidding. The idea is what I want to do is I want to go and I want to go and set up also the copper flow. The copper flow should be done. And for the copper flow, we will need to build. And that's what we're going to queue right about now. So first of all, let's us build the equipment workshop because equipment workshop is something what, what we need. We need to be able to craft you know working components now speaking of it what we want to do is we want to have obviously one miner one smelter one constructor and um, and one storage container obviously so I have iron plates and iron rods and I need to craft a couple more so I'm going to craft them right here while they're being produced on the other side, just to be on the safe side. So we're going to be crafting iron plates and iron rods manually, but just enough so that I can build, I can build what I need. So iron rods, we are going to take a couple and then the rest I'm going to be crafting into iron plates. And the good thing is <clears throat> by doing the factory first, these things are being produced while I'm crafting this manually, so I'm not wasting any time whatsoever, and that's the beauty of it. So as you can see, I'm crafting iron iron ingots, which will be converted to iron plates, of course. Iron plates. But while I'm doing that, the factory is already producing all the requirements necessary for my advancement to tier 1. Right, okay, fair enough. Now we have enough components and we're gonna go, I think, I I think I remember that the copper ore is, yeah, 210 meters in that direction, which is perfect. It is just extension to our factory, so hopefully the lines won't be very long. And while we're going up, we're gonna be collecting the produce. So, 48 iron plates, don't mind if I do. What do we have here? 36 iron rods. Thank you. And here we have limestone. 24. Okay. Now that being picked up, let us see if we can connect the values. Okay. These stones are a little bit in the way, but uh, let's see if we can connect this regardless. Conveyor belt is too big. Well, yeah. Tell you what I'm going to do. That's the problem. So we're going to be placing like this 
we're gonna be placing four components one and we're gonna replace it a little bit higher and we're gonna take the second one come on is this somehow remotely I mean it, like I said it's a throwaway factory it doesn't need to be beautiful if it can it would be nice though now that being said let's go that's one output two outputs and the third output and the reason why they're raised so I don't need to hop over them while I'm moving along that's what just one thing that I've learned uh, we're missing iron plates obviously right okay so yeah that's a downer okay iron plates right let's pick up some from the conveyor belt shall we I'm just stealing my own components you know there we go second conveyor belt and then we have the third one and then we're gonna be looking to grab the rest of the stuff so how many iron plates do we have we have 29 okay let's see if we can connect this bad boy and then we're on onwards perfect now i need 20 more i need 12 more iron plates to be able to finish the initial plan all right good eight more they go in the pairs of two so i guess it's two three more and then we can continue assembling our copper production line remember everything we do is throw away so don't really need to stress too much about how it looks how it performs and what it does that's not really the point at this stage at this stage it's merely the point that we have enough all right and i did take a couple of extra iron plates because i think they will be important for connecting stuff right okay fair enough now where was that copper node should be nearby 143 meters down that way all right so we're gonna go there and let's see i think i see it actually over there on the top pick up leaves yes that's always useful Oh, oh, there's a crack here. What crack? All right, careful with that. Oh, and we have a Pigdillo. Hello, Mr. Pigdillo. Oh, I need to take this copper node. What do you think about it? I'm glad that you agree, by all means. It's so nice that we can come to an equal understanding, especially when I'm using the electric shocker. Now, where do we? Ah, yes. We will, we will rock you. And there we are. Okay, perfect. So, now let's build the big kahuna. Production-wise, we need the miner. Alright, miner will be going that way. And we're gonna need a smelter. And smelter could be built right beside it, right? The shorter, the better. Yeah. Alright. That would be the miner and the smelter. And while I'm here, I might as well be connecting them to a power pole because, well, you never know when you're gonna need some. So, okay, we connect you here and we connect you there. Speaking of which, I want you to be producing copper ingots. Thank you. Then, okay, there the uh, copper is coming over there and we need to drag the copper all the way over there fair enough so what we're gonna do we're gonna build a conveyor belt and we're missing a lot of iron plates right okay so first question is oh i fell into the hole didn't i okay fair enough now we need to do the constructor and the storage container let's do that part while the iron plates are being printed so I'm thinking actually I would like another constructor to be beside these guys. Why? Because I can I have place to expand here. So constructor, you're aligned with the rest. That's fine. And you, Sunshine, will be working on the wire. Because that's the next material which we need. Then we're gonna be putting the conveyor pole which looks like 
this. And we are going to... Oh, the darkness is coming. We are going to put the storage container together with the rest of them. I need this one aligned to a different... Yeah, like this. Perfect. And now we will need a lot of iron plates to connect it. And see how close it is. This was my intention from the get-go. Okay, 48 iron plates. See, that's the idea. In the beginning, it is smart that you just pick up a lot of stuff. Hold on. You are concrete, yes. And you are rods. Got, gotcha. Now, when it comes to this, we need to connect this bag boy over there to this entrance here because this will be going that way and you we're gonna be connecting to this bed all right i mean it's not the most prettiest girl at the ball but she'll turn a head or two now where is the other miner i believe it's over there so what i want to do i don't want to be crossing the streams do i Probably not. That doesn't sound like a really great idea. So maybe it is. I don't know. Let's do it like this, actually. We raise it up. And we're gonna be connecting this section, which gives us the flexibility to put another pole over here, which will be crossing it. Like I said, no cross the streams. Yeah, we're gonna cross the streams. All right, fair enough. I am still missing iron plates. I need more iron plates, obviously, because this is quite far. Now, there is a power pole over there, and there's gonna be need to be another power pole over here, which will be ultimately connected to this line. You are gonna be connected here, and then another power pole should be, oh, missing cable. We need to be printing cable as well. Oh, good golly. How about if we just connect this one? Will it still work? Should be. All right, you can continue printing. So we need cable and we need iron plates. And that's okay, I guess. Uh, that means I need to do some production manually. I mean, iron plates I already have down, but the cable will be done by the... Um, by the copper that I did pick up already. So 47, this is nice about the production line. See, everything is being built for me. Copper ingots, we're definitely gonna be putting some wires and some cables, so that's fine. Copper ingots, that's why these early resources are actually quite handy if you can get them to, you know, produce. So wire, we're gonna get produce a couple of wires and a couple of cables because we really need to connect them. Okay, a few more copper ingots. And I think I'm not gonna produce all of them into cable. I'm gonna split them between wire and the cable because I don't know if it's needed for something else. But anyway, this is the wire. So that should hopefully resolve our cabling situation and the uh, so these uh, plates that we have gotten should resolve uh, the commuting time, hopefully. Commuting time, I'm, I'm out of my brains. I didn't have my coffee this morning. Anyway, this they should be resolving the copper situation. So, yeah. Plates, let's go. We connect plates for the wire track over here and then I might need to have a conveyor pole over here, thinking about its life choices, which will be going from there to here, and then from there, hopefully, another object, and that's right on the power line. Okay, power line will fix, doesn't matter. Power line. I never expected it to be permanent, so yeah. You're gonna go from here, here, from here to there, and then from here, hopefully, to the pole. Good, and now our grids has shut down. Why? 
Did I overload it? Maybe I did. Yeah, it was 36 uh, watts to begin with. So that might, means we will need to build a biomass burner. Right, and for that we will need a bit more wire. Go figure. I could never tell. Now, for wire, which means we're gonna need to pick up some more copper, which we have conveniently placed aside. So what we're gonna do, we need to do some manual digging. Yeah, I know, it's fun, right? So, we will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Okay, I think that's enough. And beside, I don't want to chase people away by my horrible singing. So we're, what we're going to do, we're going to go and we're going to get rid now of this power hungry requirements. And I could, in theory, plump the, the um, electricity over there. But I actually kind of like the idea that I have the entire power distribution here, close to the heart. So what I'm going to be placing is biomass burner. Uh, we're missing the wire, right. So I'm going to be placing another pole for the power plant and I'm going to connect this one so it takes care of externals. And then we need to be taking this copper and converting it into wire. Once that wire is done, we will be able to automate everything and everything will be coming in from the materials perspective. So hopefully that would be tier one complete. And that will give us the base building, you know, the blocks. And those blocks will help us set up a factory later together, although together, yes, that's a word, with everything else. So now, biomass burner. We want to be placing it beside biomass, obviously. So we're gonna be placing it like here, fair enough. Power line, here we go. And do we have biomass? No, we don't, but what I do have, I have a little bit of biomass, so I'm gonna turn that on. So now capacity should be 70 and maximum consumption 44. So I think from that perspective, we're good, but what I would like to build a bit more fuel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be picking up these metric crap ton of leaves, just making sure that we have enough. And then we're gonna be converting those to biomass. So once we're done with biomass, biomass is a good fuel. You don't want to be using the leaves or the wood because those burn out pretty quickly. Biomass is by far more efficient fuel. So biomass wood, you just want to produce as much biomass at the moment because later you get a biomass rods and those are even better. So the further you go, the, the better it gets. But at the moment, I think I'm gonna go and make sure I can top off my current production because I don't want to be worrying about power ever. So I'm taking a little bit of a more proactive approach, if you will. I'm gonna go to this biomass burner, feed it, biomass burner, feed it, and then I'm gonna get this guy and feed it. So hopefully we have 70 megawatts and maximum consumption 44. Things should be rolling in. <laughs> right. Uh, we do have a lot of limestone, which is a bit of a pickle. And I mean, in theory, what you can always do and fix it. So there we go. Filling up the requirements and you can always do this. It's the boring process, but it needs to be done because really there is no point of having these items consuming my inventory for no apparent reason. So once we're done with the concrete, we can put it in. And by that time, I'm kind of hoping that all of the other two materials will already be ready for to be shipped to everything else. So a few more pieces of concrete aside, and I think we should be golden. So let's see, concrete. And now let's go. Oh, and it's a beautiful dawn in satisfactory world. Okay, pick it up. There we go. Pick it up and pick it up and have the wires started coming? Not yet. Yeah, I guess it's a long trip for them. Oh, could it be that I have forgotten something? It appears that we have a hold up, so we should investigate it, of course. What's the problem with you, Sonny? Don't you have power? 
Well, obviously he doesn't. Uh, all right. We connect you over there. How about now? <clears throat> Do you have power? Okay, yes, and it is producing wire. Now, the production process of this is quite slow. We will optimize it, of course, and my goal is to be building upwards rather than anything else. However, we're not there yet. So, all right, all right. See, almost there finishing up the first tier, which was to be expected. There are these slugs. I don't think I can do anything with them just yet. So let's go and see. Can we collect this slug? Or do I need to jump somewhere to get it? Whom do you need to bang to get it? Uh, I think there needs to be a jumping pad. Yeah, I cannot reach this slug. Okay, fair enough. I think there's another one over there. For those, I'm probably going to need jumping pads and uh, all kinds of shenanigans. Now... The wires have started coming in. Concrete 2. Rods we already have enough, so I'm not gonna be even thinking about it. And these. Let's see. Does that mean our tier 1 is complete? 1, 2, and 3. There we go. Red button. Push it! And let us enjoy as the shipment goes up. Several new structures are now available for improving factory organization. Foundations provide a building grid, which makes it easier to manage placement of any structure. In the event that you are experiencing amnesia for all events prior to planetfall, be reassured that memories of beloved humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. <laughs> no stress, right? Really nice gotta appreciate the person like that okay and see most of our work is already cut out for us because we need all three materials which we are currently producing in the factory itself so speaking of that that actually we need to wait let's see what what new do components do we have logistics organization we have the lookout tower which is a good vantage point uh, for factory constructions we could actually build that to have a nice view maybe I don't know. Foundations. Here we have foundations which will help us, you know, organize all these. And we have walls. Now, these walls are great, but they're not good enough because we will need to have walls with the holes to be able to get the conveyor belts in. Right. So, with me yapping, I might as well be pushing these components in. Oh, the pod needs to return. Fine. To me, that means we should be looking into picking up stuff and let's see how our production is going. Right, okay, the pod is landing. Thank you. I gotta love the animations. I mean, I gotta give them, it's pretty nice actually. Okay, getting in there and docked. Beautiful. Freighter re-entry complete. Fix it. Gotcha. Now, so these three components are already being filled, so we will soon have the splitters and the joiners. And those are important because those will help us reach further goals out there. So I plan to keep this uh, factory. We might as well be starting collecting. So the next tier, what we want to be building is... We want to be building, I think, the screws, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, uh, the screws, which is taking in the iron rods. And we want to be taking the cable, because cable is also needed. And uh, that one is taking the wire. So, from that perspective, and we don't want to be hampering the production of the rods. So, that tells me. We're going to have a plan for the following. Production-wise, we're going to need one constructor for the screws, one for the rods, and one for the cables that will be matched. Fine. That means we will be logistics-wise, organization-wise. No, uh, we, don't, we cannot yet plan for the splitters and stuff. Okay, but we can 
prepare for the cable and reinforced iron plates. That's something that we definitely can do. We can do cable and reinforced iron plates, which means I need to be picking up components. So let's see, what do we have? Plates, screws, and I guess wire. All right. So we're going to be going about construction of these additional components. No, we're not going to be turning them in just yet. So we said we want six reinforced iron plates. For that, we need to have a bunch of screws. The reinforced iron plates, we want six of them. Let's go with eight. It doesn't hurt to have extra. Ah, maybe it doesn't go further than that. Okay, fair enough. Then we create six iron plates and then we'll need to be building cable. Okay, and now I need cable. We're obviously gonna need lots of cables. All right. Good. The rest, what they produce, they pro produce. Uh, is this something of a note to be picked up? Oh. No, I don't need coal just yet. But it's good to know to see it, you know, in the wild. As it's roaming free. Okay. So here, I actually might be... Yeah, I forgot. When we're coming to planning logistics organization we want additional two storage containers so we are going to need iron plates and iron rods so we're going to be picking up iron plates iron plates you, and iron rods so from that perspective we can might as well be putting the storage container right here there you go that's one and here should be the other one can we make it? No, it can't because of this power cable. Ah, oh. well, um, tell you what, Sonny, you're in the way. Sorry, you're in the way of progress and that's never a good place to be. So what we're going to be placing you, here, you here and you here and you here. Now we need to turn it back on. Clearly the fuse has blown, but it doesn't matter. So, uh, organization, we said storage container. There we go. That one will be for the cable. Fair enough. Now, for the cable, we could, in theory, there are so many of these um, things coming in. And here we have another set of plates and stuff. So let's see, is there a way where we could be just hijacking a part of this flow? No, but we could be hijacking part of the flow that's making the rods. Which we damn well should, because that one is not making the screws. Huh. Okay, fair enough. So it's not going to be perfectly aligned, but it's okay. So we're going to go into the production. Oh, my OCD is going to have a field day with this. We're going to be placing this guy here. And then we're going to be doing... This guy is going to be here with the cables going from here and then hopefully in the same area there we go because this one is experiencing cues this one clearly isn't so that's the plan the plan is to put a splitter on this cable which will be feeding this guy and this guy will be producing what? There's one. Oh, I need two constructors here. Whoops. Okay. Forget I said anything. Oh, no, 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 not you. 
I need to cram two constructors because one has to produce the rods, another one has to production two constructors. Sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. Okay. Now let's see constructor. One is here, and the other one is hopefully right in front of it. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> so they will be queued up. On the other hand, you sunshine will be here ish and one floor up. And that should be fine still for the connection, right? Yeah, a little bit on the steep side, but still doable. Good. So saying you'll be making iron rods. You will be making screws fair enough and then you shall be connecting going straight downwards right missing iron plates obviously fine so that's this piece done then we need the electricity how are you doing you are three out of four great that means that you can take one more power connection come here and you two can just jack yourselves to it that takes care of electricity and then we need to have iron plates to be able to connect this damn thing all right plates done is it now okay that part is done. Power is solved uh, and everything else is solved except for the splitters. On the other side, the next challenge will be cables because cable has to produce. Cables are done from these fellas. The question is, maybe I do want two of them. One of them would be producing cables and another one would be, that would actually make sense. So, uh, production, constructor, we're going to be putting you, Sunshine, just right beside them, yeah, and you're going to be constructing also, whether you believe it or not, wire, and then there we need another one that will be producing cable, so, oh, we're missing reinforced plate, um, tell you what, here is a lesson how this can be done in the field if you need it. Crafting bench. So, let's see. We have iron rod, we can do... And we can do two iron plates. There we go. Problem solved. Picking up the crafting bench and then we have another constructor. There we go. So, from that perspective, you are building the cable, gotcha, and you are building the, yeah, sorry, this one is building cable, this one is building wire. All right, I haven't gone completely off the reservation, all right, and then we still need to connect you all the way down there, and obviously we're gonna do it like, like Neon. We're gonna go here and then from here you're gonna go down there perfect oh at this rate i'm never gonna be filling out those requirements all right now let's see what do we have we have wires wires are done requirements wise concrete always good to have rods why not because we can and uh the splates are gonna be the sour puss of everything. So, let's fix it. Plates, rods are done, and these are done. So only thing that we need, we need 50 more plates. And that's actually not a big of a problem because while we're doing that, we might as well focus on another biomass burner. We're missing a couple of iron plates. Yeah, for the biomass burner. Well, we're gonna need a biomass burner for sure. But we're gonna be taking a few more. I think one more would probably be needed. Good. Now let's see. Biomass burner. There we 
go put it here so it's not in the way have it nice here part of the countryside you know part of the what uh, i'm missing cable oh good golly um i think i have the wire no i don't have the wire i now have the wire okay then let's place let's build some cable We obviously need the connectivity, that's fine. So the good thing is that we are already preparing for the next step while we are building it, so that's why I actually like it. And now let's take care of the biomass requirement. I think we have enough biomass to build. So biomass leaves. I don't want to have too many biomass producers, but... Uh, now it will work. So we are 56, 70 capacity. So, but we, once we jack everything in, that's definitely going to go up. So we're going to be placing this bad boy. And how are we with the plates? Are we almost done with the plates? 27, 29, few more. And then we're going to be launching the logistics part. I think it's 12 more, right? All right. So 12 more pieces and then I think we are halfway there almost. You know, oh, we're halfway there. Oh, I'm chasing away my podium saying I, I'm pretty sure of it. Okay. So unauthorized hostility. What? Do we have a pig dillo? Oh, no. Holy crap. Who are you? Uh, ouch! Yeah. Need it! Whew. Okay, that thing scared me. Mercer's fear. Alien species acquired. Their weaponized plasma is most likely stored as a stable chemical substance in an organ close to their mouth, and only turns volatile when exposed to one of the chemical elements in the air. Preserve the remains for later study. I will preserve the remains for the later study because obviously I need it. And by now we should have enough. So we're going to do pick it up. There we go. Easy does it. And do we have enough to launch now? By all means, hit it, Ike. And that's the game. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to save space and enhance the productivity of your factory. Fixit encourages you to consider investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. If you feel stressed by this complexity, imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. Breathe in. Visualize all the people relying on you. <laughs> it's made of billions of faces, each staring at you with hope and tears in their eyes. Breathe out. Feel refreshed and focused on your duties. <laughs> yeah, no stress. No stress whatsoever. All right, uh, tell you what. I think, oh, we haven't connected these guys here. Clearly, we need another hole here, somewhere. Uh, who are going over there. I don't like the fact that two of you are going to that power line. Sorry. So you two should be connected. One, two, three. Yes. Then you two be connected over there. Hmm? Power? Yeah, we have power. All right. Now what we need is the conveyor uh, and conveyor we go with logistics, conveyor splitter, there we go. It's not the prettiest girl in the ball, but she'll turn a head or two or three. Right. That's the, uh, that's the line for the... And we have another line that's supposed to be going on from here, which should be 
somewhere here. Okay, let's see. Conveyor splitter. We place it overlapping. Come on. Oh, got it. And then you are being connected here. So the iron ingots are gonna go over there. And hopefully now, unless I have really messed up something, we should see a lot of this thing. So let's go special production walls found organization. Lookout tower. Can we build it? Overlapping objects clearance. I think it would be nice to, to have a nice lookout tower over here. Yeah, look at that. So where do you climb this damn thing? Here? Alright. Now, with pride and joy and tears in our eyes, let us look at our factory. Currently, <clears throat> so we have a production line. First line is producing screws, hopefully. I'm not seeing yet any screws on the way down. Second one is producing plates. Not very efficiently if I made add so myself. Third one is producing the limestone at a pretty semi-decent rate. Then we have the then we have the cable and the wire. Good. So from that perspective, I think we're good. And we can actually observe as this bad boy returns. Ain't it beautiful? Ain't it glorious? <clears throat> and guys, with this thing, I think I'm gonna be wrapping it up for this episode. As always, press a like if you have found this video helpful and informative to how do you start in your own base building. And I will be seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks signing off and hopefully more will be coming.